Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stylify Django built-in login forms. So I'm going to show this process from the beginning. So first of all, I will create a Django project. Okay. And now I will change my directory to log, and uh, let's see if it's working perfectly. So just uh, open in browser this URL 127. So things are working perfectly. Now next thing what you need to do just stop your server. So next command you need to run is Python manage migrate. So what this command will do? This command will create all the database tables. Uh, required by your applications so these are the applications which are already in our uh, project so this application authentication application we are going to use okay now what I will do I will specify the URLs so I will open this file So in this file, I'm going to add one more URL for login, and for this one, what uh, should be the view? So here we are going to import from Django dot country dot import views, and here I'm going to write views dot login that's it so when we specify login uh, the request will be sent to this login view that is uh, inbuilt in our application okay now this view require a template and in order to create that template we will create a HTML file and here form method post Um, as we, I'm not going in much detail because we have already seen these steps in the previous tutorial. Type submit and value login. And here we will create close the form. Okay. So where you need to save this file just go to your project directory okay create here one uh, directory templates in this template directory create one more registration okay and uh, name your file as login.stm that's it okay uh, you need to make one last change just open your settings and here in templates you have to specify what is the name of your templates directory and in your login html here you need to include csrf token okay now let's see the login form from the server okay everything is working fine now we will see the login form so if you can see this login form is not uh, any attractive so we are going to add here some bootstrap so first of all i need to include some bootstrap css and javascript files so those i'm going to use from cdn so bootstrap cdn so i'm going to add these in my html file Add. Okay, now let's see our form again. So things have changed, but still it's not a perfect one. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a form file here. 
and in that form file we are going to create our own login form so from django dot country dot forms import application form so we are going to create our own form let's say login form and we will make this class as a subclass of authentication form okay and here we will create one uh, one text field for username forms dot cap field object forms dot text input and second one password forms dot cap field input dot password input now here this is the place where we are going to specify the class name for our bootstrap so class uh, form control same we will use here okay so our login form is done so where we are going to save this one in case if you are having a separate application for login you can save that file in that application directory but here in our case we have not created any separate application so so here you need to import forms as well from django import forms okay so we are done so now we will go to urls and here we will specify authentication form login form now the thing is that this url file doesn't know anything about login form so here we are going to make an import for that so from uh, log dot forms import login form so everything is perfectly working so see now bootstrap is applied here now we will stylify it a little bit more so we will go to login.html we will use class containers okay okay now we will go for class call sn6 and I'm going to use of panel PID class panel panel default class panel adding login and then class panel body and here I will close it okay so we are good to go so here if you can see now it's uh, showing a, a much better form so this is the way you can stylify your login form thank you very much for watching